My name is Steve Crutter. I'm, I'm president of Archetype Associates, and I'm also a founder and editor-in-chief of Designers and Books, which is a website that promotes the idea that books are important sources of inspiration for creativity and innovation. What I usually do is ask other people for their book lists, especially designers, and I ask for the list of books that have been um, inspirational to them and formative about their view of the world and their ideas about design. Designers have a very special relationship with books. They collect them, they design them, um, but mostly I think they turn to them for inspiration. It's not what they read that's different. I think it's more kind of how they read and what they do with it. And I think there's something about just having books around um, that is uh, kind of comforting, whether it's because of the memories that they hold or just how they look. My system, such as it exists, which is kind of loosely at best, is that um, kind of nonfiction titles on the right, fiction on the left, and um, pretty much kind of smaller books on the top and larger books down below. And um, it's not really much more complicated than that. Design Within Reach asked me if I would put together my book lists, the books that have been interesting and formative for me. So I, I got all the books out that I thought I would want to uh, include on my list. And it turns out they kind of fell into three general categories. Um, the first kind of grouping is books that I first became aware of in college. Um, second grouping is kind of books that I've become acquainted with through kind of business dealings or my professional life. And then the third grouping is books that just um, have interested me personally. It was a very kind of um, enlightening, interesting experience because, I mean, there is this idea that you are what you read, and so I kind of looked out at this tablescape of, of books and I thought, is that who I am? A spacious and high-ceilinged room furnished in the Edwardian taste. One's attention is caught by a massive carved wooden mantelpiece of elaborate structure holding blue china in its niches. Great. Maybe, in fact, it is true that we are what we read, and as you kind of put all these dots out there, it's very interesting to see the connections between them.